Good morning. Thank you very much for inviting me to, to this conference, uh, which gives me the opportunity to, to listen to so many interesting talks during this three, three days. Um, uh, I'm going to talk uh, today about uh, how to read transdisciplinary critical art. Uh, this is actually uh, also somehow about how to read transdisciplinary art. Because, uh, but I, I selected this one for, for, for two reasons. One, uh, I've been uh, preparing at the moment two different exhibitions. One in Gdańsk, uh, very soon in October, uh, it will be the project of Krzysztof Wodiczko. And next year, in March, uh, there will be the opening of the exhibition by Luz Maria Sanchez, a Mexican artist uh, living at the moment in Europe, in Norway and Spain in uh, Arsenal uh, Gallery in Poznań. And they both uh, present this special approach to our art, where uh, artworks are considered kind of uh, tools in social activity, in the same time as uh, staying in the field of art. And this is the second reason. Uh, I participated in several discussions uh, about uh, different artists uh, working in such fields. And uh, quite often uh, I realize that we are missing uh, vocabulary, uh, language, uh, methodology uh, when, we, uh, when we are about to, to talk about this kind of art. Because uh, in very many cases, uh, when we deal with the artists, uh, involved in some social processes, uh, fighting for social justice, uh, for ecological uh, achievements. Uh, we focused on this social uh, uh, context of the activity, missing somehow uh, what is uh, characteristic for the, uh, from another side, uh, I mean uh, artistic characteristic. In some other cases, I, I had many opportunities to talk to especially uh, traditionally trained art historians uh, who, uh, who quite often have problems with recognizing art in different forms of, of artistic activity nowadays. So uh, I thought that uh, I should actually uh, try to, to, to draw our attention to some characteristics uh, we should observe uh, when we approach this kind of transdisciplinary art. Uh, this program in, in Gdańsk, uh, I began in 2010, and I curated, presented, curated a series of exhibitions dealing with robotics, with, with uh, biotechnologies, uh, with uh, artificial intelligence. Um, recently, uh, I, I'm trying to, to to pay more attention to, to this kind of transdisciplinary art, which is uh, created uh, on the crossroads of art, uh, humanities, social sciences, philosophy, ecology. So, uh, because this is also in wider understanding of the term, this is still uh, this approach, uh, dialogue between art, art and, and science. So, uh, I'm going to start with uh, the list of uh, those uh, criteria I think that we should take into, into account. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, I am especially uh, focus on this uh, socially engaged or critical art. Uh, and uh, I'm using the formula uh, uh, social engaged media art research. Because actually, in a way, uh, in this field, uh, artists and, and uh, researchers come together. Artists uh, preparing artworks, they are preparing also research, and all the artworks are all just result of the research, or still uh, the tool for researching. From another side, uh, there, is, uh, there is the perspective of, of researchers, uh, and they, they actually, they all uh, follow the same uh, script, the same scenario, build up with this uh, criteria. So, uh, working at the university, I'm trying to, to use these criteria uh, as a helping tools to, to analyze artistic projects. Uh, working at that academy with the students, 
I'm trying to propose them these criteria as a, a support for preparing concepts and realization of different artistic projects. So we all come together in this field. Practitioner artists, practitioner researchers, uh, curators. So, a uh, made for uh, public sphere. I'm using the term uh, sphere. And I, I, when, I, uh, when I wrote down this criteria for the first time, I, I, I wrote it made for public, uh, public space. But I realized that public space is too narrow because uh, in many cases the artworks uh, I will be referring to are prepared not exactly for uh, public space, but for the gallery space, but in the same time, they are very strongly connected. They refer to social issues. And actually, uh, some of um, researchers trying to, to define uh, social art, they, they also mention this, that uh, social art is all realized in the public, public space or uh, reflect on uh, public, public issues. Uh, Obviously, we should also remember when we talk nowadays about public spaces that uh, public spaces are uh, nowadays uh, virtual space. So internet, social media, they are nowadays public spaces in the same way like uh, regular traditional uh, public spaces in the, in the cities. So made for public sphere, that means that this is art uh, created uh, in the, with this social approach social, political. Merging different perspectives, uh, art meets design, engineering, programming. Uh, we might say that nowadays uh, this criteria is actually adaptable to very different uh, artistic forms of, of creation, not only uh, this um, socially uh, engaged. But, but especially in this case, I've been observing, like in the work of Krzysztof Wodiczko, uh, building up uh, so many uh, devices uh, uh, designed, produced, uh, uh, not always by the artist himself, sometimes uh, in collaboration with, with a group of people, but uh, very often uh, artists uh, recognize their necessity to, to build up kind of interfaces between the audience and some, some spheres uh, of such interfaces, such devices uh, are necessary for, for, for the audience to, to merge, to interact. Because uh, the two, the next two uh, um, criteria, this is participatory and interactivity. So participatory, I, obviously, I mean uh, this kind of uh, artistic works which, are, uh, which involve the audience, uh, making the audience parts of the artwork structure or just a necessary operator of, of created designed devices. Uh, anyway, this is nothing about uh, traditional uh, aesthetic experience when you should keep the distance uh, towards the artwork, trying to focus, to, to, to meditate. Uh, you are uh, expected to, to, to engage, to, to interact. Analytical, uh, critical uh, approach. Uh, this is important for me because, uh, obviously, when we talk about social engage uh, in political art, we are talking about critical approach. Uh, but uh, this critical approach should be based on, on analysis, uh, because this is not just expression of, of somebody's uh, world view. This is the result of, of, of research, uh, results of which uh, come as, as a database for the artwork, or, but first of all, uh, as the reason for, for making the, uh, the artwork. Sorry. I think now will be better. And I see the time uh, uh, of my presentation. Uh, interaction between art and, and science. Uh, this, is, uh, this is for all transdisciplinary uh, uh, art activities, the basic uh, cri criterion. Uh, but uh, preparing uh, last year, 
uh, for one uh, Polish journal, an article on uh, protest art, I asked my, so ask myself a question. Uh, can, we, uh, can we define the protest art in such a way uh, when just critical approach, protest activity, is not the only, the only uh, definition criterion? Because when you have a look at different books on uh, protest art, especially uh, prepared in uh, this historical perspectives uh, involving uh, Guernica, Picasso, for example, uh, you will see that uh, it's practically, practically impossible to, to propose a definition which is different than this is the artwork protesting against something. And uh, after uh, having analyzed uh, several contemporary artworks, I realized that when we are not approaching the history of, of protest art, but if we are just focused on contemporary uh, critical art, we can recognize that the situation a little bit changed, that uh, critical art, uh, protest art, is based in, in the research, that uh, artists uh, approaching certain topic problems, they do it because they, they refer to some, some information, some uh, analysis uh, results. Uh, so uh, the serious, valuable, uh, critical protest art nowadays is rooted in the research made by the artist or other people uh, and the results of such, such a research is being used by the artist in, in this second uh, situation. And uh, in the case of protest social engaged art, uh, we, we need to, to, to uh, extend the field of uh, science, the understanding of science notion. When, when I speak about this in Polish, I have no problem because when we talk about science, nauka, uh, we, we don't need to, to add that this is also humanities, social sciences. When we speak in English, uh, this is a little bit different. Slowly, little by little, I've been observing this uh, change also in, in English language publications that uh, more and more often uh, people just use the word science without additional comment that this is about humanities as well. Uh, so it is becoming actually uh, more, more popular. Uh, also because of the result of philosophical reflection on, on uh, science, because uh, some science philosopher just stated clearly that uh, science, uh, science uh, publications are just literature uh, organized according to different rules, different uh, criteria. So when we remember about this, it is easier to, to place together side by side uh, biology, uh, engineering, um, humanities, uh, sociology. Uh, artist project. Uh, uh, I have, I have uh, again, uh, speaking in English, I have some, uh, some problem with precising exactly uh, on the level of existing uh, terms some uh, complications. Uh, because uh, when we talk about artwork as a project, uh, the first connection is just design, that we think about artwork designed according to particular, particular rules. But uh, I want to talk in this case, because I have uh, design, uh, I place design in the second uh, criteria. Um, uh, and here is at a project, but this is not a repetition. I think about project as just certain kind of activity organized around certain principles, going towards uh, some, uh, some research goal, because when, you, when we realize that uh, artists uh, working in this field, and not only in this field, in different kinds of transdisciplinary fields, uh, they spend uh, months, years on working with people in labs, in, 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 in some uh, social activities field. And uh, what, we, what we meet, what we see uh, finally, this is uh, performance, 
our installation, our, uh, and uh, we attempted to, to approach only this final product as what was the subject of uh, artistic activity. But actually, the whole project is important because without uh, knowing, understanding what had happened before this final product appeared somewhere, we can understand the role, the significance uh, of this, of this uh, final, final product. Additionally, when someone is working two, three, four years on, on a project, uh, during this period of time, artist uh, presents the result, temporary result, several times at different exhibitions, different contexts, festivals. So uh, any time when such a work appears, uh, it looks differently. The work developed, uh, changing, is prototyping, is, is modified. And this is still the same work <coughs> appearing several times in different time of the research uh, process. Uh, so we should remember about this, that um, what is uh, the final product, it is somehow in, in encapsulates <coughs> different times, different moments, different people's activity. And uh, without uh, knowing about this, uh, without taking this into account, we can't say too much uh, about uh, this, this final product. And this final product we name art, artwork, but we should remember that uh, this is actually one of the possible appearances of this project, which is art. So art as project, artwork as a project, uh, they are very important uh, formulas for me. Collective, collaborative work, this is very characteristic for all interdisciplinary uh, artistic activities, because artists uh, develop uh, such uh, complex uh, issues, such a complex project that this is obvious that they work with uh, specialists uh, from different areas. They have many collaborators. Uh, this is not the same as participatory, uh, because when we talk about participatory, we think about this traditional field of uh, relations between audience and artists. Audience becomes uh, part of the artwork. Uh, in this case, we are talking about uh, the group of people uh, we should see in the place we were observing only particular singular artist before. Now there is a group of people working together and artist uh, somehow appears as a kind of theater director or film director, someone who organized the work of, of, of a group of people. He's the only one indicated uh, in the front line, but many artists like this, they, they care very, very much about uh, putting all the names or all the collaborators uh, together with uh, their name because they, they, they understand uh, very well how important role they, they play. And finally, this transdisciplinarity, because uh, this is what uh, makes this kind of activity uh, special, particular, different from all, uh, all the others. I refer to, to this, uh, I, I used uh, reference to, to Darbele, uh, but uh, this is actually uh, quite uh, widely acceptable, this, this placing different uh, categories. There are, uh, there are more, they are the, the, the most often used uh, disciplinarity. I mean, this is the time when each kind of uh, activity uh, develops in particular field closed by others. So scientists work in the field of science, artists work in the field of art, and those fields uh, have borders uh, very strongly uh, created and you can't just move between, between them. Uh, multidisciplinarity, when we take the activity, uh, many different disciplines are, are involved. It doesn't have to, to, to remove borders between them. They might stay separate, but they are uh, connected just for the particular project, for a particular research, and when the goal is achieved, uh, 
uh, all the scientists come back to, to uh, disciplinary discipline they, they represent and nothing happened between them. Interdisciplinarity is a little bit uh, more, more developed. Uh, people involved in such projects, they at least pretend to, to match each other, to create uh, something which is common. But uh, there is still usually the situation when uh, people representing one discipline uh, work in another discipline, trying to, to adapt uh, tools from the previous one to, 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 the, new, to the new field of, of activity. And actually, only transdisciplinarity is, uh, from my point of view, uh, useful uh, category when we talk about uh, art and science, art socially engaged. Because, uh, and this is this uh, crucial point uh, I, I began with, that in such a situation we have to do with uh, activity which are not just science anymore, but they uh, have different uh, goals typical for, for science, they use different tools uh, typical for, for science, and they are making art, and they, they stay artists. When, uh, when artists uh, create uh, works uh, built up on uh, bio, um, bioengineering, uh, it doesn't mean that uh, he or she ceased to be an artist and become a scientist for a while, uh, because doing all this, uh, he keeps the role, the perspective, the position of the artist, but the art he or she is preparing is different. This is the result of merging uh, different, different, uh, different disciplines. So, uh, uh, degrees of openness, fields connected, uh, interaction between them, integration between them, is becoming higher and higher uh, when we move from just disciplinarity towards trans transdisciplinarity. I want to talk uh, about uh, about uh, two cases because uh, there's not enough time to talk uh, about uh, many examples uh, carefully. So I, I I selected as examples, some works of uh, Krzysztof Badicko and Luz Maria Sanchez. The reason is obvious. I've been working on their work nowadays, uh, preparing the exhibition, so I think that this is, uh, it makes sense to, to refer uh, to, to them. Uh, Krzysztof Badicko wrote a very, very interesting uh, article uh, about the inner public. Uh, usually, uh, as himself uh, presents it, when uh, critics or researchers uh, approach his works, they just observe audience as people coming for the presentation, coming for the performance. They uh, approach by the artist uh, in the fin final moment of his creative uh, work. But for him, this is actually uh, too narrow and doesn't help too much uh, about the real situation. So uh, he proposes to distinguish between participants uh, inner audience and outer audience, or inner public, outer public. And all those three groups are related in a particular way. They somehow, in many cases, are necessary for, for each other. Uh, so uh, the core, in the very core of each project, the uh, participants uh, consider collaborators. There are people who are involved uh, into the artistic project. Uh, they speak within the project about own histories, own experiences, or uh, hears uh, 
and uh, they are becoming the especially important uh, aspect of, of each work. Uh, and this is the, 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 the big, very big part of the, of the work, preparing such a, such a work. Uh, we are doing something like this now. We made recordings of people speaking about fears, uh, dreams, uh, expectations uh, within the project we are uh, preparing uh, at the moment. And uh, I, there is a quotation from 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 uh, this this article about inner inner uh, audience, inner public, which I which I like especially. Uh, Vodichko uh, writes: If they succeed, participants, collaborators, if they succeed in making sense of the project for their own lives and the lives of others. It is their success. If they do not succeed, I consider it my failure. Uh, it speaks a lot about why uh, artists like him uh, work, what he or she wants to achieve. This is something which is which connecting uh, the techne, the um, value of work of the artist with social consequences observed from the perspective of the participants. So we have to, to, to put all this together and if it works, it works for both sides. The value of the project depends on the success of people engaged. If they fail to, to recognize themselves, in the project, if they fail to recognize its importance for their own lives, that means that this project failed as well. And the artist is responsible for, for, for such a situation. This is a very clear uh, statement and a very clear connection between uh, artistic characteristics of the project and its social, political, personal, in many cases, consequences. They have to come together. Each side depends on, on another. Uh, the inner public is a very, very important uh, part of the group working, working for the project, because there are people who, with whom uh, the artist begin the, the project, start the, the discussion they may become uh, later on the participants, but they can also bring participants from uh, families, from uh, friends, groups. Uh, this, this role is very important because people, when, when, when come to participate in such a project, they have different fears. They don't know what they can, uh, uh, what they should expect. They, they, they are expected to, to speak about something extremely personal, about uh, sometimes about something they they never uh, managed to uh, to talk to speak to anybody, and finally they decided to speak. It happened to Vodichko many times in different countries. Uh, he wrote about his work uh, in Hiroshima, uh, with this Hiroshima projection project, because he reached a group of. Um, Koreans uh, uh, whose ancestors uh, were living, uh, working the factory uh, uh, when, in, 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 when uh, the a bomb was was dropped uh, on the on the city, most of them died, but they don't exist in the history. In the history, uh, we can find uh, the suffering of, of, of Japanese society, Japanese citizens. But they were also uh, these war slaves working for Japanese factories. And Vodichko uh, wrote that in the very last moment, he managed to reach someone who convinced uh, this uh, members of the community, this Korean community, to, to, to join the project and to talk about 
different, different from Japanese experiences related to to nuclear uh, catastrophe. So, and they they spoke about this for the first time in their life. So, this is such a situation. So, this is extremely important that such people are surrounded by others they know very well. They are friends. They are uh, family members. They trust them. They can express different doubts about own participation in the project to them. And finally, uh, they may feel uh, to accept the proposal and work, uh, work for the project. So between this uh, inner public, people who finally they don't have to appear in the project, but they are backing the project, supporting those who, who, who appear who participate, who speak, who present, who act within, within the project. So this, this, uh, this author project, uh, it's actually uh, the group which also is connected with this inner, uh, inner uh, public. Because inner public there are people who uh, can communicate to those who came just for the pr final presentation to answer the questions, to, to, to engage themselves in different forms of uh, communications. So they are very important for both reasons, to support, to help participants uh, in joining the project, and to, to help to understand, to, to react uh, emotionally uh, to those who appear just to, to see uh, the, the the performance. This work, uh, Vodichko uh, uh, describes uh, different, uh, different uh, stages of the project. In the case of the, of the project uh, we, we are preparing together now, it, it, uh, it became with my proposal. We met uh, in Poznan or in Krakow, I think, Krakow. A drone uh, performance presentation was earlier, in spite of the fact that Poznań was to be earlier, but pandemic time changed everything in this. Uh, so uh, I asked him if he would be uh, interested uh, to, to make a project uh, in Gdańsk in the framework of the program uh, I, uh, I've been making. Uh, and I proposed him to try to connect uh, different aspects of his uh, work, uh, like uh, Tijuana projection, when for the first time participants appear uh, within the audience. Just uh, It was not only material pre-recorded and projected, but it was also, there were projections uh, in real time. People uh, were walking with, with cameras, uh, mics, uh, light source, on the special construction. I will show you this in a while. Uh, just in the crowd. So they encouraged quite often the uh, immediate reaction uh, on the side of the audience, asking the question, commenting what they've been observing. So it was one aspect, this interactive, uh, real-time activity with, with uh, the use of technology with drones. Finally, we are not using drones in this project. We are using balloons, and we project images on those balloons. Uh, you can recognize this aesthetics also in the Tijuana uh, uh, projections. Then I, I spoke to, to, to my colleagues in Art Center, proposing this project. We found the budget. Then we had to, to find someone who will uh, communicate between artists and uh, local communities, uh, who will work uh, in the interviews, activities. Uh, we had to find people who record this, who edit this, uh, who create all the necessary effects. Like, for example, when you project images on the balloons on the roof of the Shakespearean Theatre in the uh, sea city when wind moves uh, the balloons all the time. So you need uh, the special tracking system which uh, allowing 
projector to keep all the time image on the moving balloon. So there is a group, this is this uh, group of people working uh, in the core. Again, there are participants talking about their lives, uh, expectations, and dreams. But without this group, this project also wouldn't happen. So step by step, we are coming to, to the final moment, October 13. We expect to have everything ready and, and present for the first time this, uh, this project. So uh, I've been uh, talking already about the impact of inner public or the outer public. Uh, I, I spoke uh, about the uh, relationship between inner public and, and uh, participants. Uh, but the outer public uh, uh, played the role of, of witness, someone who uh, experience and can't bring the result of such experience uh, to different other circles. So uh, there are always another step uh, important for spreading the values, the ideas, the concepts undertaken in the, in the artistic uh, project. So this is real, uh, real, uh, real uh, activity which is based on mutual uh, dependence and responsibility, different forms of responsibility played by different kinds of participants. This is why uh, Vodicko says that fearless speaking requires fearless listening. Both sides should adjust around the uh, issue under, undertaken. The role of uh, inner public is also about this secondary witness because they, weaving, this, uh, weaving the concept of uh, this final performance, they are those people who understand uh, better than the outer audience what is going on, what will happen, and they also uh, witness the behavior of the outer audience. So again, the, the nature of uh, relationships between different groups of people involved in each project on different stage is really very uh, complicated. Uh, a few examples. Uh, first, just uh, reminding, uh, I think, the most uh, famous project by Vodicko, but uh, many of his projects are famous, uh, uh, showing uh, how different uh, criteria uh, I, I began with are involved in particular project. There is a, a design uh, for, for, the, for this uh, chart uh, making visible uh, homeless people uh, living in the, in the street, uh, involving their participation. Uh, but uh, as you probably know very, very well, this is not about really providing such people with this kind of vehicles. Uh, this is to make them visible to make people passing them every day in the street recognize that uh, among them, uh, people home-based, they are people homeless. And that this is the social challenge, that we can't feel good residents, citizens, when we accept the situation when people, not because of uh, there are in many cases they don't, they are not responsible for what happened to them. Uh, illness, uh, the lack of work, uh, different reasons sometimes make people homeless. And so uh, the, each society should recognize this problem as just the goal to, 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 to solve. Uh, so that was the, the reason to, to make such a project. Like uh, with this uh, alien staff, uh, the work uh, when people 
not heard, uh, having no right to speak publicly, uh, get uh, assistance speaking on behalf of them from, from the screens. But uh, I'm focusing on this um, project, uh, Tijuana projection, because it, it shows very well all the stages of the working of Botichko uh, on, the, on the project. Uh, so this is about women living in uh, the cities close to Mexican-American border where uh, American companies installed factories uh, and using the, the cheap workers uh, uh, produce uh, different, different entities. Maculadora, this is the, the, the Spanish name of this, uh, uh, this plant, this, this uh, working uh, places. Mostly uh, women work uh, in such, such places. The, the salary is low, so uh, men would feel humiliated if they are to accept working for such low price. But at the same time, uh, sociologists observe that uh, it brings very bad impact on them because in certain moment uh, they live in the uh, families where women work and women provide everything necessary for living, which is, which is in many cases for them a Mexican macho, uh, difficult to, to, to stand. This work is terribly uh, organized, so, so uh, workers uh, don't get the proper training, they, got, uh, they don't get uh, nothing protecting them, special suits, uh, they are exposed to uh, different, different uh, conditions. When men appear in such a places, they are just uh, directors, uh, those who, who give the orders, not those to work. <coughs> I'm just jumping, we have no time. Uh, so it, all the slides I presented so far, this is this first stage of the artistic work. So this is uh, what we name in our scientific uh, vocabulary um, secondary data analysis. So uh, reading the books, articles, finding, finding different resources, building the database of knowledge necessary to, to understand the situation and to react artistically, properly to, to this uh, situation. Next, you have to find uh, this uh, core group of people. In this case, there is the uh, Factor X group, uh, the group of uh, feminists uh, working in, in defense of, of, of uh, women working in these uh, plants but also working for the bad conditions of uh, them uh, in, in family context, uh, being uh, badly treated uh, by partners, uh, police, uh, doctors, and, and many, many others. So uh, this group uh, becomes this, this uh, first uh, from which the uh, early participants of the project uh, appeared but they connected uh, artists with other circles and so they created this uh, core group next the uh, inner audience uh, they they uh, attracted uh, people to, to to join and the project could could um, develop um, And finally, the place when the final uh, situation uh, happened, the projection on this dome. Uh, uh, I, was, uh, I was talking that this aesthetics of uh, projecting images on the balloons is actually somehow also rooted in this aesthetics of uh, Tijuana uh, projections. 
So again, Vodicka uh, had to prepare uh, different tools, uh, elaborated the structure of the events. This is this uh, tool, the, the most important uh, I was talking about. So this construction, when you see this, this uh, structure with, with, um, with camera, with mic, with, with torch uh, coming together, to let uh, the participants, the uh, women participating in real time in the project to, to um, project uh, faces, uh, what they spoke uh, on the screen. It required, obviously, a creation a kind of uh, television studio. Uh, how complicated it was, I realized, preparing the recent project of Vodicka because we, we, we have to do something, something similar. And finally, this is one of the, of the participants, another. Uh, Vodicko's drawing uh, of the projection. This is the uh, poor invitation distributed in, in Tijuana uh, for the project. And finally, the performance, which happened twice, two consecutive nights. And this is those women uh, surrounded by the crowd of, of, of uh, this outer public just speaking in real time about the experience. This is extremely important, because in the, the very many uh, Vodichkos project, uh, the participants uh, didn't want to, 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 to be recognizable uh, in the final project. So, for example, when you see documentation of uh, um, Hiroshima projection, you see only hands of the people. Uh, you hear voices, but you see only hands. They didn't want to appear uh, with, with faces. Uh, in this uh, project uh, in Italy, in the US, in Poland, with the use of drones, uh, uh, there were uh, only, only eyes on the, on the uh, monitors and, and voices. In this case, they appeared in person, in the crowd, speaking about what happened to them. And uh, just a uh, very short Siempre caminaba y me decía, no me decía, pero con señas así que lo que lo siguiera. Y este había letrero, bueno, un flecha que indicaban el paso para dónde ir. Siempre ese esas pesadillas siempre las he tenido. Ya hace cinco años de eso, ahorita no las tengo tan frecuentes, pero sí, sí todavía lo sueño eso. Y bueno, ese... Cuando trataste de cruzar la frontera, no es muy digno tu cuento. Novia nueva, americana, mejor vida, sin hijos. Mejor trabajo, más dinero. Pero al llegar a la línea, se voltearon todos tus papeles. Te bajaron. Te preguntaron a dónde ibas, tus papeles. Dijiste, no traigo. Te esposaron las manos como si hubieras cometido algún delito. Esta chava le quitaron su carro y pasó como si nada hubiera pasado, pero a ti. Te I will move to the, to the end of this testimony. Orgullo de mexicano. Dale como 
se hubieran matado en tu lado. Sin necesidad de golpearte, hirieron tu orgullo. Y es la manera que tú me hacías sentir cada grito que me dabas, cada ofensa que dirigías hacia mí. El no servir para nada, el ser un idiota, el ser una estúpida. Hay que saldar la cuenta que tenía contigo. So this is the moment uh, uh, Vodichka was uh, writing. I, I quoted him before. So this is the moment when what he prepared, what has happened, influenced deeply the participant. They suddenly recognize uh, the tools. They, they, they found the power to approach their own lives differently, to, to change something. So this is this uh, real success that makes the artistic project valuable. Just to remind you that uh, Vodichko was working for two years uh, to make this, this project in Tijuana. So this is not just week two or three weeks uh, activities. This is the long two year lasting project, uh, building the uh, knowledge, information, meeting with people, creating the group uh, of, of activists next uh, creating the group of participants, organizing technical aspect, uh, finding the way to contact uh, local institutions to get support like from this cultural center uh, on the roof of which it, uh, it happened. And we have actually, when you approach such a work, we have to remember about all these criteria because they are present in the whole two year project of, of Vodichko, and we have not only to, to observe and analyze the final performance, we have to understand the whole structure, the whole activity. Only then we can evaluate, we can uh, approach uh, in research terms uh, such an such event uh, properly. Oh, this is the final participants. Uh, I just uh, run uh, through little slides from another project I just want to, to, to make you, to, to remind you, maybe some of you remember, 2016 in Weimar in Germany. This is the monument of Goethe and Schiller. Uh, the project based on the uh, uh, research uh, output saying that, that uh, Schiller was a refugee during the uh, German internal war and he was accepted by Goethe and stayed in his uh, house. So this is <coughs> this monument uh, about and this uh, project was created in the context of this refugee uh, crisis uh, uh, nowadays. And uh, again, uh, uh, but in a different way, the possibility of interaction uh, was uh, created within the project. <coughs> so people can ask the questions, ask questions to <coughs> refugees and, uh, uh, recorded in real time inside uh, faces, images of the faces of those refugees uh, were uh, projected on the on the monument, and people could approach directly. Uh, obviously, the monument. Uh, uh, became the interface between r refugees uh, participating in the project and the audience asking questions, commenting on the whole 
situation. <coughs> so as uh, Vodichko took it, uh, the audience uh, spoke to the monument. Uh, the refugees became the monument, uh, answering uh, the questions. <coughs> and second case, mm. Luz Maria Sanchez, uh, her project, uh, 2487, this is the number of, of uh, people found dead uh, at the border, Mexican-US uh, border, according to the research undertaken by different <coughs> non-governmental organizations uh, arti the artists collaborated uh, with. It was between <coughs> 1993 and 2006 when, when uh, this, this uh, amount uh, was counted. And uh, the work uh, became the installation in different, thanks a lot, uh, different, different spaces. This is uh, just a gallery, the uh, number uh, 16 speakers, uh, 8 channel uh, work. The artist recorded all the names uh, of all these uh, people and uh, the s generative system uh, just uh, generates the, the voices in random order, in randomly that means that sometimes names overlap each other, sometimes there is a the few seconds uh, break uh, between them. <coughs> this is this kind of meditation on the uh, lives uh, suddenly cut uh, of those people. Uh, the very important project, uh, she's been uh, working on uh, for uh, more than uh, ten, now 10 years actually, this unnecessary force, different appearances, there are uh, several different appearances. The first one, there are just uh, this kind of uh, guns, plastic guns. Uh, I think Chinese um, produced. She bought and equipped with with um, with uh, sound speakers and cards with recording. So each each uh, each gun was uh, autonomous uh, speaker operated by the audience. The sound was taken uh, from YouTube. She made a research on YouTube because. Uh, in Mexico, when the president Calderon, who initiated the war uh, with narco cartels, and narco cartels uh, just uh, uh, <coughs> attacked the uh, civilians, so they, uh, the thousands of civilians uh, were killed uh, in revenge uh, by 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 narco cartels. Uh, uh, so. Uh, she made this research and uh, connected each gun with a particular recording uh, from such such an event. Another another example. Uh, this is this uh, unnecessary the force two. Uh, she was working with with a psychologist and uh, the group uh, of uh, traumatized children whose parents and fathers were killed uh, and. Uh, uh, she used uh, drawings uh, made by by children to to create the uh, printed 3D printed uh, sculptures again uh, uh, possessing these um, speakers uh, cards uh, with voices of children talking about what what has uh, happened. Uh, the third uh, was uh, the collaboration with the group Rastreadoras. This is the group of, of, of uh, Mexican women who, uh, who search for remnants of uh, probably killed, uh, kidnapped uh, relations, mm. mostly husbands, uh, sons, uh, sometimes also, also uh, daughters. She, uh, uh, together with uh, collaborators, prepared the special application for uh, iPhones, uh, allowing these women to communi communicate with each other, uh, providing them with the possibility to act uh, 
uh, organizing the possibility to communicate and to build up the, the identity. Uh, she also prepared the website, uh, which was just the place where all this information came. You can find it on the on this website. Uh, so Carmen was important person for Tijuana project for Vodichko. Mirna Medina is such a person for for Rosmaria Sanchez for the project. These three. The artist uh, participated in the expedition, expeditions to, to, to track, to look for. They try to smell if they if they can smell biological because they go to the spaces they got the anonymous usual uh, information that they should uh, look in certain uh, place so they go and they check uh, and if they sometimes uh, really can can smell they they uh, they start digging and looking for. Uh, you have uh, you need to to have password to 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 log obviously to this to this page because they are they are uh, all observed uh, uh, so uh, in very many cases police involved is uh, is involved uh, in all these situations uh, uh, so uh, they try to to protect uh, Uh, I will skip the next example. There are a few more uh, because I am running beyond my time schedule. Uh, so I can just invite you to the opening of this exhibition of Rosmaria Charles in Gallery Arsenal in Poznan is scheduled for March, the 1st of March uh, 2024, next year. So I invite you just to, to come and, and experience those works because the whole cycle of the works is part of the exhibition. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We do not have too many time for discussion, too much time for discussion, but of course if you've got we can ask two or 
one or two questions. Thank you for this very interesting presentation and your comments about the approach of the art historians to the uh, contemporary art. Uh, I would like to ask you, uh, uh, you mentioned about Wojcicko, I guess, uh, the artist's name. That you mean, uh, so he was trying to establish a connection. Maybe he was using kind of empathy in order to be understood what he's saying. <laughs> so uh, I'm just, I'd like to uh, learn your personal opinion. Uh, is this a kind of a new creative method or uh, for the artist, or it is a kind of uh, limiting process? So he's just uh, directing his creativity in order to be understood. So what do you think? Now, it's, uh, for sure it is not a limiting process. Uh, this is just a process of building basis uh, for what you are uh, trying to, uh, to do. Uh, this is actually kind of necessary part uh, in the situation when you work with living people, trying to avoid uh, treating them as just uh, raw material. Yeah, in this project you uh, shared with us, uh, thank you. I'm just, this is te uh, definitely the, the process which mm -hmm. must be used. Uh, thank you. But I was asking in general. But so we can discuss it later. You know, in general, going beyond the Bodicko and... Uh, yeah, I mean, just, in, it's like, is, is it uh, the duty of an artist in the, uh, while it's uh, doing artistic practice or creating an art, uh -huh. uh, uh, reflecting or just looking for to be understood by the society or just uh, using by uh, his or her original creative uh, artistic um, talent? to uh, reflect in the work or what? Uh, this is connected with the character of, of, of present times, I would say. We live uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the transdisciplinary age. Uh, this is how uh, Timothy Morton uh, published his book on hyperobjects, that actually uh, we are more and more often deal. We deal with, with problems, with issues, uh, you can't approach uh, in a uh, uh, rational, uh, understandable way uh, within particular discipline. Uh, so uh, merging different disciplines are very important. Artistic research or art as research or research-based art, they are uh, forms of activities which is actually the answer, the reaction to the, to the present situation. Uh, for very many uh, artists, uh, I assume, uh, making uh, aesthetic object is kind of uh, hopeless activity. Uh, uh, this um, uh, entertainment studios can always beat you with uh, the aesthetic quality of the image. Uh, so uh, it doesn't make sense nowadays to, to, to decorate the world. The world uh, should not be decorated. The world should be actually changed. Otherwise, the, we have no future. Thank you very much. <laughs> Other questions? Yes, thank you for your talk. I wonder, or I ask you, is in this form of art any reflection or any Yes, a reference to the history of art. To? To the history of art. Yeah, you have a lot of decision, how do you do this art as a project, the way you do it. And is it important for this form of art that there is a reference or a contribution to the history of art? Uh, why I uh, avoid uh, in my thinking on of this kind of art. I'm trying to avoid uh, this kind of references because uh, they often uh, might be misleading. Because uh, we are living, as, again, we are living in a non-disciplinary world. Uh, we would have, you know, uh, 
I've been preparing with uh, the group of other researchers a book on uh, research uh, transdisciplinary art and uh, one of them uh, prepared a chapter on uh, Leonardo da Vinci uh, comparing uh, him with Victoria Vesna, the recent artist working in the field of, of uh, climate changes. She, she found uh, works, drawings by Leonardo dealing with uh, similar issues. But uh, it is difficult to, to, to connect them uh, it's because... It's not a criteria. Yeah? Sorry? It's not a criteria uh, for social engaged media art research. You mean that... I, I wonder. Uh -huh. No, I'm, I'm just saying that uh, uh, it doesn't help to understand what is going on at the moment in the field of art when we try to, to refer to the historical precedences. Because those precedences, uh, they belong to different contexts. They uh, react to their own social, own philosophical uh, imagination of the world. So. Uh, Sometimes when you see something very, very similar, the meaning of it is completely different because it is the reaction to something else uh, and uh, only by chance the vocabulary of this response could be comparable with the presence. So uh, I think that uh, maybe uh, we, can, we can try to create this historical context you ask for, but uh, we would have to make first a kind of global uh, analysis uh, and descriptions of different uh, thought systems typical for different periods, and uh, first on this level try to, to make these comparisons and only afterwards move to the lower levels just to discuss particular artworks, particular artistic projects. Otherwise, uh, it's very easy to, 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 to see similarities uh, where they actually don't exist. <laughs>